Hey guys, Flair here. Today I'll be discussing about the Samurai job changes that is coming in Endwalker based on the information that has been provided to us post the media tour. I will be discussing a bit about the potential openers that has been provided to us from Jahondan and Valin and other mentors from the balance. Either way, do note that all of these are subject to change, so do not take any changes presented to us as final. You may notice that there is a, a potency decrease in almost all of our actions compared to what we have currently. Do know that this is due to the stat crunch that is coming in N Walker. Let's start off with the single target combos. So here not much has changed except for the lower potencies. Hakaze Jinpu into Gekko gives us a Getsusan including our Fugetsu buff. Hakaze Shifu into Kasha gives us a Kasen, including the Foka buff. Hakaze and Yukikaze gives us a Setsusan. Moving on to the AoE combo here, we notice that we have a new AoE combo known as Hyosetsu. It combos with Fuga as it was with Mangetsu and Oka. But you do notice that there is a slightly higher potency, that means you will have to use Hyosetsu after Fuga based on which buffs you have to refresh your buff and then you just use this for a slightly higher potency. Now moving on to the Yajutsu. Here you notice that uh, there is Shoha listed in the Yajutsu, I'm not sure why that's so. Either way, we have four new skills, uh, three exactly, but the Shoha has changed a bit based on the meditations uh, that Tsubami does not give us anymore. The rest pretty much has just potency changes. So here we have Shoha 2, which is our AoE combo, and we have our new Iaijutsu, which is not based on sense. I will uh, tell you guys what is uh, Ogi Namikiri ready a bit later in the video. So once you have that buff, you will have this Iaijutsu available, which is our hardest hitting uh, skill for both single target and AoE. And it has its own Kaishi version except it's not on the Kaishi timer, that is the Kaishi charges that we have. So basically if you use uh, Ogi Namikiri, this skill itself will change into the Kaishi Namikiri, while our Tsubame Gashi is on two charges separately. So here you notice on our utility side, Third Eye no longer gives us Seigan or Merciful Eyes, we do gain 10 Kenki, however, NP is mostly the same-ish. Enhanced NP is giving us a lot more potency per GCD, we will be discussing about that later. Makeo has two charges now, and if you use Kasha or Gekko, you are going to get the respective buffs. This means that uh, make your pre pool will most likely be in our openers. I will be discussing this in the video itself upcoming. So meditate here, not much has changed. You still gain meditation stacks as well as Kenki. Hagakure, nothing has changed for that. Ikishoten is now on a 120 second cooldown. It also grants us Ogi Namikiri ready. So this means that we, we will be cycling Ogi Namikiri and Ikishoten together. So when we use Ikishoten, we will get this buff and then use Ogi Namikiri. Do note, there is a leeway of 30 seconds. This means that we can control when we will use Ogi Namikiri and Kashi Namikiri under raid buffs if needed. Here for our Kenki Gage, not sure about this pronunciation of the Kenki Gage, uh, either way, Hisatsu Kaiten remains the same, Hisatsu Gyoten remains the same, Hisatsu Yatan remains the same, Shinten has a bit lower potency now, Gyoten stayed the same, Guran now has uh, a separate damage based on the second target and onwards. Sene is still the same. Now let's move on to the potential openers discussed 
from the samurai mentors including Jahonath. So here is a Google document made by Jahonath from The Balance. He has uh, done almost all of the theory crafts based on the information provided to us as well as all the mathematics on the potency per GCD etc. Please credit him for that. This document can be found on the balance on the pin messages on some notes. Either way, let's get right into the opener first. Now let's take a look at the theory crafted opener. So a lot of people are wondering why are we going to do make your pre -pool. The reasoning behind this is pretty simple. Make your shisui is now on two charges and when we use it, it is on a 30 second timer. This means we have a 30 second leeway to use our actions to get our sons, that is our main combo skills, Keiko, Kasha and Yukikaze. If we use it that early, it gives us an extra use throughout the fight as well as it minimizes our risk of losing huge amounts of potency throughout a fight depending on the kill time. Here I notice that Gecko has been mentioned first for the damage buff. I haven't had the time to look uh, deep into why we aren't using Kasha first to get the speed buff but it probably is because it is just one GCD leeway compared to before. So we will be using Gecko after Meikyo when the fight starts and then use Ikishoten to get our Kenki, then go into Kasha. Gecko and Kasha are going to get us our respective damage and speed buff. Here we are going to use our Tincture, that is our Potion, then use Yukikaze, and then here we are going to double weave Meikyo and Kaitan going into Midare and Kaishi Setsugeka. You don't really have to double weave Make your Shisui and Kaiten here I believe because it is already on one charge cooldown so in case it were to clip you you can post it later on. After that we are going to be using Gecko to get the Getsu Sam and then Kaiten into Higanbana to get our dot available and then use Gecko again into Kaiten and then we are going to use our new Yajitsu, Ogi Namikiri, into Kayashi Namikiri. After that, Shoha will be available because we are going to be getting our stream meditation stacks from Midare, Higanbana, and Ogi Namikiri. After that, we are going to use Kasha. Post Kasha, we are going to be using Senei. Here, you notice that there is no Yukikaze used. Because if you have played somewhere on a high level right now and optimized, you know that using Meikyo under Gecko and Kasha is a potency gain. Post that, we are going to be using Hakaze into Yukikaze and then Kaiten into Midare into Kaishi and then continue our rotation based on there. Now this second Midare and Kaishi has a lot more leeway because uh, we haven't checked uh, all the available buffs currently but if an astrologian were to give you their card or something you could potentially just delay this one a little further and then uh, just use it uh, like two GCDs later. Do read the other stuff that he has written on the samurai rotation and the potency per GCDs. Basically we are still going to have a filler, we are still going to be looping a bit uh, and uh, this will be optimal most likely. I haven't had the time to look in depth into this, but all of these may be subject to change. So in a way, let's go into the potency per GCD stuff. So here, the a thing that people are kind of memeing on is that the mid array combo, the potency per GCD is only 398 uh, potency. While if we were to be using a Yatan P, we are going to be getting a 400 potency per GCD. So potency per GCD Yatan P is giving us a slight edge over Midare. So yeah, there will be a lot of Yatan P if nothing changes. Uh, make sure you don't fall off the arena and things like that. Then don't become a lol samurai or something. 
But uh, yeah, here is all of the changes uh, and the speculated opener. I hope this uh, video was useful and informative for you guys. I'll see you guys later on and I will be making more rotation videos later on as soon as Endwalker comes. See you guys later and have fun.